Guys, that might give me back here from the video. Welcome back to an episode of my daily sniping series. Let's get started, guys. So what I want to talk about is going to be uh, EA needs to add more packs to the store. Now, obviously, you know, this is, you know, I'm hoping that they do they fix this next year, but it's just an idea for next year. And pretty much what I mean by more packs is actual packs that you that are in the store all the time now the only packs that are in the store consistently are pro packs i believe you can buy one all or one rookie pack and that's it so that's the only packs that are in the store every single day monday through sunday every single day of the week so it doesn't matter if you get on you know on a monday or on a sunday or on a wednesday pro packs are always in the store and the issue with that is they're awesome and all, you know, pro packs, one gold better, and then the rest of that. It's just, I feel like they should add more packs, especially maybe uh, during certain occasions. So, obviously, they're always going to have bundles in the store, you know, bundles like, oh, all pro pack bundle, game changer bundle, based on what promo is out and stuff like that. But I just feel like there should be more than just the typical, you know, alt legends packs, uh, game changer packs, and that kind of stuff. Change it up a little bit. Now, they did change it up last year, I think, with adding the X-Factor pack. And then this year, they kind of changed it up by adding the, um, uh, what pack was that? They added the Ultimate pack. So, I kind of wish they would do that this year. Also, I wish they would have done this th that this year, kind of adding more and more packs. Again, the more packs, the more, you know, chances of getting something awesome. Um, but... Overall, my point is that they just need to have more packs in the store, period. Um, and more packs to just stay in the store. So, what I mean by that is not limited time packs. <laughs> this video is all over the place, but just no limit. Oh, I get it. Bundles, keep bundles, whatever. You know, they make money off that. But I actually have more just regular packs in the store. So, whenever you go to the store, you can always, there's always a pack that you can, um, that you can actually buy and open. And pretty good snipe right here. Uh, this is about a 17k snipe, so not bad right there. But yeah, so just always new pack, always packs in store you can buy whenever you want, and it's not like it's a limited time pack. You know, it's a consistent pack, just like pro packs are. I wish they would do that. Obviously, that's just you know one person's opinion of what I wish they would do. Of course, they do need to fix a lot of stuff, so that's just one step in the process. But that's something that, you know, they can really definitely, I feel like they could fix a lot. It's just adding more to the store, adding more details to the store. Now, something that I want to talk to you guys about, and give me feedback down below. Next year, there's a lot of rumors right now that EA is going to get rid of the auction, or not the auction block, the trade block, because the only reason that it's there, or the only reason people use it, is for farm accounts to trade cards over. And as you guys know, EA doesn't like farm accounts because they want you to spend money on the game. So there's rumors that they're going to get rid of the um, rid of these uh, accounts. They're going, oh, sorry, get rid of the trade block, which is going to hopefully, for their case, um, what they want to do is uh, get rid of farm accounts. Trade block will help it a lot in their process of getting rid of farm accounts. Because, you know, now you can't transfer any collectibles over with players. So you have to transfer coins over and then they can ban you for, quote unquote, trying to sell coins or buy coins. So they definitely are making a huge progress, a huge step in the progress of stopping farm accounts. I don't know why they hate farm accounts. I mean, I saw, I know why they hate farm accounts. I just wish that they would calm down with them. I get it, farm accounts, you know, they stop them from making money because you can get some actual coin from farm accounts and then you don't have to spend money. So I get why they hate it. I just wish it would chill a little bit with the farm, like hating the farm accounts because all it is is people who either don't want to spend money on the game or just don't have money to spend on the game. And it shouldn't be about, well, if you don't have money to spend on the game, then you're not going to have fun in this game. So something i really wish they would kind of calm down with is trying to stop farm accounts from happening now i know a lot of people some people hate farm accounts they think it's stupid and most of those people some of those people do spend money in the game and that's pretty much their premise but it's just for people like me my uh, like myself who like to grind this game and likes to you know just do solos on all their farm accounts and make as much coins as possible that's why i have 9.4 million right there it's because of farm accounts 
Um, it went for farm accounts. I wouldn't have 9.4 million. So it's all farm accounts. So definitely, you need to chill with trying to ban farm accounts. I mean, it's not like we're doing anything illegal or anything to hurt the game. I guess, you know, someone like myself getting 9.4 million coins from this one thing, I guess, in a way that would... It hurts, uh, it hurts from them being able to have people open up packs. Um, see, I'm kind of risk. I'm kind of like scared now because I don't know if he actually sells for 45k. Because at first I was like, oh yeah, that, that's great buy, you know, like the Drell Reavers. Uh, but this guy, I'm not really sure if he's actually selling for that much. I'm going to chill on that. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Once again, could be losing the trade block next year. And uh, a little, a little um, better somewhere, what I'm trying to say, is I wish when you go to packs that, you know, these are limited time, one day, three days. These are always in the store. And these are always in the store. I wish there was consistent bundles. Other than pro packs, they're always in the store. Also bundle toppers. But anyway, guys, peace out.